the front end into traits are generic traits that you see quite often in Rust code. So in this video, I'll give you examples of how to use the from and into traits. Let's start with the from trait. To implement the from trait, for our example, we'll need to implement the function called from. Notice that this trait is a generic trait. It takes in any data type called t. We pass this t into a function called from. Inside here, we'll need to convert this data type t into self, the data type that implements the trait from. Also notice that this trait is a super trait. Whatever trait that implements from must also implement a trait called sized. The trait sized means that the size of the data type is known at compile time. I'm going to copy this definition over to my code editor. For this example, we will convert data types into the struct point. To implement the from trait for this struct point, we will first need to import the trait called from. So let's import from and into trait from std convert. Let's implement the from trait for a tuple of type u32 into point. Type impl from for the data type, a tuple of u32, u32 for point. We're going to convert a tuple of u32, u32 into our struct called point. You'll need to implement a single function called from. Placeholder type t will be the tuple u32, u32. And then we'll need to convert it into self. Here self refers to our struct point. So inside here, we'll say self has two fields, x, let's put in the zeroth element of the tuple, let's say value.0. And then for y, let's put in the first element. Okay, and that completes our implementation of the trait from converting a tuple of u32, u32 into our struct called point. Now, how do we actually use this inside our main function? So let's say we have a tuple t of type u32, u32, let's set this equal to 1 and 2. And then how do we convert this tuple into our struct called point? So let's say p is equal to point colon colon from. This is an associated function, also known as static method, that we attach to our struct point. And then say from, pass in our tuple t. This will convert the tuple into point. Let's print this out. Print ln p. Execute the code. And we get point x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Next, let's take a look at the generic trait called into. The into trait converts an instance of some data type into this generic data type called t. Whatever data type that implements this into must also be sized. Size means that the size of the data type must be known at compile time. Since we already implemented the trait from, from a tuple of u32 into the struct point, we don't need to write this code where self will be a tuple of u32, u32, and this type t will be a point. As it says over here, implementing from automatically provides one with an implementation of into. So going back to our code, instead of calling point colon colon from, we can also create a point starting from the tuple by saying t dot into. Since we've already implemented from, from a tuple of u32, u32 for the struct point, we also get the generic trait into for free. So we can convert a tuple into a point by calling the function t.into. Okay, let's print this out again. Execute the code and we get point x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. When you're working with Rust code, you'll see this function into called often to convert one data type into another data type. So in this video, I showed you an example of using the generic trait from to convert one data type into another data type. When you implement the generic trait from for one data type, we will also get the generic trait into for free. 